to Cloud Nine is the first track off of Brent's songs, Volume One. I'll turn that right down. It's just going to play behind us. Okay. Hi, Pam. Hello, Brent. How are you? I'm doing pretty okay. Yeah, you're looking good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, for radio. <laughs> Not what I meant. <laughs> well, you're usually the one getting the lines in. No I kidding. thought I would jump in. All right, why not? So... Volume hey. one. That means there's going to be more. Oh, there's a, there, I've got, uh, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm paid up till the end of volume four now. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So this song is actually from 2003. Uh, I like that you added that. Yes. I like that this, you added that a lot. This is a collection of songs that I've written over 40 years. So. And I always wanted to record them. So right. it finally got uh, all those other projects out of the way. And Brent and Woofie's over and. Um, so now it's time to go into all the old, old songs, get them on CD. He's not joking. So there's one that goes back to 1979. There's one that's older than that. 74. It? Yeah, 74. That is the oldest one. Yeah. To me, this is, this is what I was going to say off air, but I'm saying it on air. It's a nice analogy of how relationships go. Yeah. Right? It's, yeah. And it's not one. It's here. This one's from there. That one's yeah. from over here. And that one's from way back then. This one's the one that, you know. Yep. So it's it's um it's not so, one love story it's all of them it's an yeah. anal- it's a- okay so the first one where, that you're listening rock right. bottom to cloud nine this was supposed to go on love songs for an angel but it just didn't fit into the into the story anywhere right so this is <clears throat> this is part of that that other thing the next one called got nowhere yep. this song I I had an iPhone and I was fooling around with um, GarageBand on the iPhone right. And I wrote this song on um, GarageBand, laying on my back in my bed, <laughs> singing into the iPhone. And so I thought, you know what? I should actually record it. Make a... Make a real real. So, and this, what does it say? I can't see it. 2021. 21. So it's sometime last year that I wrote this one. Or should I say it just fell out? Fell out. Yeah. Fell out. But it's a good rockin' 1970s type rockin' song. So before we listen to it, how long have you been doing this stuff? Doing what stuff? The music thing. Well, I started writing in about 
75 or 74, be so. 12 or 13 years old. So, uh, and I'm 36 now. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, no, sorry, 63. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Just for a just, day or two. Yeah, just till next week. And um, so, I don't know, what is it, 40, 50 years? I don't know. It's a while. Yeah. It's a while. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to God Nowhere because one of Brent's musical things is there isn't just one sound to Brent. Right. There's many sounds. To there, Brent. Variety, yeah. So we're going to go from rock bottom to cloud nine, which has a nice kind of a swing Shuffle. to it. Yeah. 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 Shuffle. What? Shuffle. Shuffle. Call the shuffle. <laughs> and you're doing all the instruments, right? Uh, actually, I think my brother or, played bass. Um, Scott's played bass on some of them. Right. My brother played bass on some of them. I did everything else. Uh, my brother sang uh, back up on one of them. But uh, at this point now, I'm going, well, who played bass on what? And who did this there? So has this, nothing to do with age. This one has my brother redid the bass because what I played sucks. inspiration of that one well i was just gonna say guess what the words mean yeah god no nothing. nothing's <laughs> there, going there's on just there's gibberish. Just, yeah nothing it, it, uh, like i said i was laying on my back and i just started singing and, blah, 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 and then got nowhere came out so it means nothing it's just it's an earworm yeah it's one of those <laughs> god nowhere that's one of those things that's gonna get stuck in your head just because yeah it can yeah the part of that song that gets stuck in my head is ah 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 uh, oh. So, and on, yeah. <laughs> so this might be the one in the car that I don't remember hearing it. I had to play it twice because I was singing along with you and I didn't know the song. But yeah. it was like, what the heck was that? Yeah. That could be one of them at least. Anyway, so, and you did everything on this song. Yes. Yeah. That's all Brenty on that song. Okay. Because. Except, of course, the um, editing and, and uh, me and Bruce mix them together. I send them to, where does he live? Newfoundland. Other side. Other side, which is really weird because um, they're four and a half hours difference. Between here and there? Yeah, so at six o'clock, I can't call them anymore because it's the middle of the night over there. Right. So. You don't want to wake up kids. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, that, yeah. That's not a good thing. 
And I also just noticed that when we were talking, he, Bruce also played acoustic on one of these songs, and I'll tell you which one it is when we get to when it. You hear it. <laughs> I'll have to hear it. Um, I know. There's <clears throat> very little notes on your CD. Just let you know. Yeah, let what's you the know. next one? It says 19... I can't read the... 1980. 1980. Okay, so um, I would have been... Just before I started playing professionally, which we started in 1982, right. so I'd be writing a lot of songs and learning. Uh, I remember I was just learning how to do bass lines for songs like this one. And um, this song is about nobody. So it's it's one of those songs that you can fit your life into. Yeah, it's just it was just a, a, a country song that, that that I wrote for nobody. So. For nobody. Yeah. Because, you know, not all songs have a something behind it. Yeah. The muse can be your own imagination. Yeah, yeah. So this this was just, um, I don't know, just play it and you'll see. <laughs> it's up next. And Hang I, on. I, I called it Without You b before I knew that there was that other Without You song and those other 500,000 songs that are called Without You. <laughs> There's that thing. Here it is. Well, now I'm tired and alone. Without you, I can't believe it's over. You said we're through. I don't want to say that I've been blue. I'm finding out what broken hearts will do. This broken heart. the love song that every girl would like to have sang to her mm -hmm. right yeah um as we're listening to it it's reminding me of when i first got to nanaimo in 1984 started playing around here we played this song every night it was highly requested it's an old hit for me for in the nanaimo one area <laughs> right so when bands are getting out and playing um covers and then some of their originals and then and the dancers get to know what pub and all that you get followers yeah right? yeah so that's nice it's nice that you actually put it on the cd now yeah yeah and it's, it's the first time I, I recorded it live and blah to blah but the first time i actually sat down and, and recorded it like, and that's what this whole album is about is i finally got to sit down and re record all these old tunes because you know i've got like hundreds of songs in my back pocket oh, yep. <laughs> 
not counting the kids' songs. <laughs> not counting the kids' because songs. Because I spent all those years doing the Brent and Wolfie recordings. Right. And all of these things just sat in the drawer and did nothing. So that's what this is about. Volume 1 is done. Volume 2 is um, mapped out and ready to go. And then there's 3, 4, 5, and 6, and I've got enough songs for them. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. You're a... Uh, I'm not going to say the word right, so I don't want to say it. Prolific. I can't say it. Yay! Prolific. 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 I don't know. That Brent writes a lot. And because... No, actually, I don't. I haven't written a song. Well, I wrote a song at Albert's house. And we we're just sitting there, and it, and it, it we're sitting around playing guitars with my yep. brother. And this that's going to go on one of these albums, oh, too, nice. because it's a really cool so song. So Albert is the father. Yeah, he's 91 now. Which is why I, I like here in the country, because that sounds like that sounds like what you grew up with in my head. Because yeah, yeah. you don't yodel, but man, does your dad. Yeah, yeah. Holy smokes. Okay, so the next one on the CD is... You Really Got To Me. And... And it's 2007. Um, I had a trampoline for sale and a ring at the doorbell and this gorgeous blonde standing there and I just went, ah, I'd like to buy your trampoline. And it, I just fell in love instantly with this woman, just head over heels. Uh, and so I wrote this song that you really got to me because opened the door and there she was and boom, it was like, ah, like that's what happens to me, right? So um, I asked her out and nothing happened with it. So I'm, but boy, am I glad because if they say, if you see a woman and you go, Oh my God! Run! <laughs> run! Run! Get out of don't, there! Don't let that get to you. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. So this um, what was the year? 2000, 2007. So. But that's how big someone can actually make an impact. Oh yeah. You know nothing about them, but that's just the physical hold oh. that you know got to ya. Yeah. Oh boy, did she ever? She really got to me. And he created a song about the whole situation. You betcha. Here it is. Got the smile that I adore. You got that certain something I've been looking for. You really took me by surprise. You really got to me with those hypnotizing eyes. You really got to me. Under my skin, you really got to me. Open up and let me on in. You don't know me, I don't know you. When I first saw you, somehow I knew. That you would keep me under your spell Will I be sorry? Only time will tell You really got to me You got under my skin You really got to me Open up, let me on in I swore I'd never, never fall in love again I swore I'd never, never wear that ball and chain Ain't it amazing what one girl can do I ain't complaining cause I want You got under my skin You really got to me
open up and let me on in. You never got to me. Open up, let me on in. You really got to me. You really got to me. I remember that one. Cool. That's it, yeah. Some of Brent's your songs do get stuck in your head. Yeah. You got really good hooks. That one song, Without You, that was like hook after hook. After yeah. After hook. Like, you just like fished them all. So, that's what it's all about, eh? Right. Getting to you remember the song. To remember the song so that the person identifies with something that's in the song so that they can actually feel themselves well, in the music, right? I know exactly what you're saying because every time I hear these songs, they bring back a flood of memories for me. Because they're your songs yeah. from your images. Yeah. And, and even if it's not about anything in particular, like Without You. Yeah. Like, that sounds like, because you didn't write it about anybody, it sounds like a dreamy kind of song. Yeah. That you'd like to find that person who is your Without You. Yeah. There you go. All right, so moving. And this one that we were listening to, that's definitely got the blues kind of. Yeah, thing. well, like I said, I like a lot of variety on my CD. So the, so one song doesn't sound just like the, the next song and stuff like that. Um, now, the next one, yes. when I, I go out in the lo- on the road and travel by myself and people say, don't you get lonely? <laughs> no, I don't get lonely. But now, um, <clears throat> the first song, that woman came back into my life after 13 years. Right. And we got together for a short time, and then she started doing the same old crap, and then I got lonely. Then you got lonely. So this song is called I'm Never Lonely Until I'm With You. Yes. And it's absolutely true. This is the one I replayed on the CD. Here. Okay. <laughs> that, that's... Now this is, this is like a 1960s country um uh, I don't know what you call it, um, love love ballad maybe. Yeah, let's... and um, I know Scott played bass. Scott McCloud played bass on this one. I know that for sure. I think this might be the one that Bruce redid my guitar. I don't know. Don't think it really matters. Will but... you remember when we hear it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with age. Nothing to do with uh, age. Okay, here I we go. Know. Oh no, I know the one Bruce played guitar. I'll tell you later. Now, this will be me playing guitar and Scott playing bass and me doing the rest of everything. And here it is. I'm never lonely. Until I'm with you. I'm never lonely Until I'm with you Ever since we parted and you're away from me You left me broken hearted But I never get lonely I never thought I'd see you Until just Yeah. 
In there. I could see some people out there going, Nodding, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's right. so true. I, I'm not lonely yeah. until you're around. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you know that you're not in good company yeah. when you're better company when you're on your own. So that was 2021 after 13 year separation. And we got back together for a very short Because well, you think, oh, well, it was, here's the thing with relationships. When they start, they are always wonderful. For the first little started, while. Yeah. Right? It's the after while thing. Can you get along? Are there compromises you're willing to make? And then it's the battered woman syndrome who always says, Oh, it's going to be better this time. <laughs> it never is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to say to that one, which is very strange because, you know, I'm not usually. No. When does Pat have nothing to say? <laughs> Stump the DJ. <laughs> so Brent and I were joking around off air about when I was first on the radio he used to come down he put a sign in front of the window here at the booth that breathed because I talked way too fast well I'm watching Pam now and she's a pro now (laughs) he took me back to our first days because I started the Brent and Woofie show about the same time because you actually introduced me to this yeah and um yeah so we coached each other and we got uh shows on the air and I remember the Pam used to talk and I said and what was it saying? People can't think as fast as you talk. Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to slow down. Definitely. Yeah, she's, she's definitely a pro uh, at it now. Just relaxed and. Thank you, Brent. Yeah, very well, good. Well, a lot of that is because I've had a lot of encouragement and support, right? Uh, it makes a difference. Uh, uh, and I can remember. And now, Brent and Woofy was Brent and Woofy long before the Brent and Woofy radio show. Yes. And the long. Beeler, Beeler brothers were a show long before Brent and Woofy. Brent and Woofy. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it's your brother. Bruce, yeah. who's doing a lot of the plan, not a lot, some of the enhancing, but all of the master. Yeah, he does. He does the. Ed, uh, I, I, we work on it together, but he has the knowledge and he's interested in making the tones, getting the right plugins. And but to me, that's boring. I don't want to do that stuff. <laughs> he's very good at it, right. and he's never he's never satisfied with the work, which is really good because that means he wants to get better, 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 better. better, better. Right. So, um, anyways, like I said, I, I got uh, we're up up to four. Vol- volume four is already 
in the works. And he knows you and your music. Yeah. So he knows when you can do better. Yeah. Now, <laughs> ha, I should bring this up because uh, he said at the one part, I said instead of in until, I said until. And we tried to change the word and just couldn't be done. I said, you know what? Nobody else is going to notice, but he noticed. Right. But nobody else. Now now you will next time you hear it. I will. Hear it. Because, you know, we do the T and the, the D thing. Yeah. Bottles, bottles, yeah. on the end. Anyway. Yeah. Diction. Um, the next song. Easy is, Ride. Uh, yeah. I always want to put an instrumental on all my right. CDs just because. And uh, for a stretch there, when I was doing all those um, string quartets and... Yeah. I was writing a whole bunch of piano songs. This is one of them. And this is the one that Bruce played guitar on because it was just crying for it. <laughs> so sit back and have an easy ride, kids. Yeah, it's a good song. I like it. Boyd Kramer style, I'm right? going to borrow that one yeah a lot good to use behind uh conversations right on got a nice yeah, yeah. right um <clears throat> that's that's I, I mentioned earlier that's the one that bruce played guitar on the rest of it is completely midi so when you're writing a song do you hear the next line like do you hear it like no i just okay. fool around and it just it just comes out no that, that happens once in a while They're like i shouldn't say no because the the, a song was coming up on the next one um, came to me while I was falling asleep and uh, the melody and the, the, the idea of the song and I picked up my cell phone and hit video oh, yeah. and just started singing into it because right. I don't know how to do the sound recorder yet, so I just used the video yep. so that that <laughs> particular song yeah I, I, I mapped the whole song out in my head before I got anywhere near the guitar or anything um, and speaking of that, I write songs. I used to write on the guitar. You'd have a piece of paper and a pencil and a memory. Yeah. And you'd write on the guitar. Not anymore. It's all done on the cell phone. I know, right? It's I write different. on the cell phone. And if I get a line, I sing it into the cell phone. Yeah. And uh, all the words are in there. And a lot of it is done in my head. No instrument. I just do it in my head. No guitar, nothing. So. But yeah. something like this particular song, I would just be fooling around with, with little melody things. And then I'd 
you know, put it all together. Become a something. Well, how many guitar players say, well, I was playing around with my guitar and this came out, right? So, yeah. same kind of well, thing. Well, used to be. Used For to me, be. it used to be, but not anymore. I don't hardly play guitar anymore. Just whenever I'm recording. Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing to say about that one either. You're such a good guitar player. You have such a lovely <laughs> voice. You hear harmonies so well. I mean, nah, nah. Anyway, it is your life. You're doing with it what you want. Well, so- my, my performing days are behind me. It's, uh, and you have I, a number of I'm them. not as pretty as I used to be, and that way, I, if I don't perform, I don't have to try and take care of that part. <laughs> what a great segue into middle age glory. <laughs> now, this song, 2007, I was in my 40s, and I thought I was old then. And all I can say about this song is listen to the words. You gotta listen to the story of me thinking I was old. And he wasn't. No. Yet. No, I'm still not old yet. <laughs> You're getting working on it. So you know, here is Middle Age Glory. Listen to the words. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you'll identify. Yeah. Especially if you're over 40. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend left me standing here. I got no money, can't buy no beer. Finance company recalled my loan. They said they were going to take my home. By the emails, they don't phone. I'm sitting here growing old all alone. I get no visits, no company. My best friend is my old TV. Now I'm old, fat, broken, horny. Welcome to Middle Age, that's my story. Old, fat, broken, horny. I'm living it now. It's Middle Age glory. This can't eat that. Eat nothing but veggies, so you're gonna be fat. Hair grows from my ears and nose, but the top of my head is a ball plateau. Doctor tells me to take my pills. I pay for his pills, I can't pay my bills. Master car put out an APB. They want their payment, but they can't find me. Now I'm Broken, horny, welcome to middle age, that's my story. Old, fat, broken, horny, I'm living it now, it's middle age glory. Can't go party, can't stay awake, I usually sleep at about a half past eight. The only exercise where I get quicker is my right thumb on the TV clicker. About retirement, I don't got not one red cent. Ten more middle aged years for me to collect my old age security. Old, fat, broken, horny, welcome to middle age. That's my story. Old, fat, broken, horny, living it now. It's middle age glory. Old, fat, broken, horny. Welcome to Middle Age, that's my story. Old, fat, broken, horny, and living it now. It's Middle Age glory, living it now. Middle Age glory. Okay, so there's... Okay, so Brent is laughing at me because I'm challenging myself. I've got two windows going. And we'll see if I get lost. I used to go see Brent, and he would have two computer screens going, going between them. Oh, mess me up, man. Oh, so I used to go on Brent and Woofie's show quite, not quite often, but often with my grandson. Those are great memories to have. Yes. Right? Yeah. Those, by the way, all those Brent and Woofie shows are still online. So where do people find it? Just a Brent and Woofie radio show. Punch that in and uh, uh, you can install them. I got brentandwoofy.com. I got backwardsbrent.com. I got brentlindsaybeeler.com. You got but, a few dot com. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, if anybody wants to look this stuff up, I'm, you know, I can tell you it's brentlindsaybowler.com. But just go to backwardsbrent.com and click on the music thing. It's so much easier. I'll find you. Because all, all of my Facebook stuff is still, is still uh, under Backwards Brent. Yeah, so, and we haven't even talked about my no, adventures yet. No, because you were leaving on an adventure. And then the adventure changed because everything changed. Yeah. But you 
You did go. I left the island on my birthday last year, and I told everybody I retired and left Vancouver Island. And they said, what? You don't retire and leave Vancouver Island. You retire and move to Vancouver Island. So I've been I've been gone. Uh, well, it'll be uh, now on Thursday. I'll be I'm off the island for a year. I went all the way up to Dawson City to see the solstice. Right. <gasps> now I know what breathtaking means. Wow. You know, it was never dark. It was, it was the two o'clock, uh, two o'clock in the morning. The sun was up in the sky. Never dark. It's just fantastic. So, yeah. Lots so of you adventures. have had some adventures. Oh yeah. So how many of the next three albums that you already have prepared have songs about your adventures? None. Because these are all songs. Yeah. These, everything adventures. that I'll be recording from now on is old, old, old. But I do want to do a Brent uh, backwards Brent two. Yeah. I should do that. You should. But uh, this. I got so much stuff to do. It's, it's just amazing. And but I, I I took my studio with me in my motor home, never touched it once. Oh really? Yeah, never really? touched it. So it's going to be a winter thing. Oh well, that makes sense. For six months. In yeah. the sun, you want to be outside. Yeah. Because yeah. you can. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, middle aged glory. We all got lines in there that we can identify with. <laughs> I'm still crying over you. 1979. My girlfriend in Calgary, who I almost married. Decided she liked the farmer better. And here it is. Whoops. Ooh. Whoops. Almost. Here we go. You said the feeling would go our way. I'm trying to a girl every day, but I'm still crying. Oh. Tried, but I don't want to And I don't know why I'm still crying Over you Wake up in the morning And what do I find Your pretty face is on my mind Then I start crying Over Strong feeling coming straight from my heart Says I love you But it's tearing me apart Oh, hon, I'm crying Over you Know that I love you But you just have to see Can't you see what it's doing to me It keeps me crying Just let me know You really didn't mean to let me go Mine would be the next smiling face That you see My heart would mend and my tears would dry Cause I know we'd give it another try And all of my crying would end Suddenly But I'm just dreaming now, it's no way to be I got to get myself back to reality Oh, hon, I'm crying over you I'm losing my mind, but I'm trying to maintain Me and my crime, that's the way I remain Oh, yes, I'm still crying Yeah, uh, she she left me for a better situation she thought, but it turned out worse and just broke my heart when she said, how, how can you do this, right? But um, 
it worked out best because we were getting so close to getting married and oh boy <laughs> they, what is it uh, I tend to pick crazy women <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing <laughs> Well, if I didn't, I wouldn't have all these songs, right? <laughs> okay, so one of Jim Urkelation's songs keeps coming back. And why is it the best love song to come out of Broken Heart? Yeah. Right? Yeah, of course. Well, that's what all, all most of these songs are, is frustration with love for right. me. Yeah. Um, and so the next one I wrote in 1974 about one of my very first girlfriends, who I saw last year after 30 years or something. It was just, just strange, right? Yeah. Strange. Was yeah. it nice to see her? Oh, that? God, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We are both exactly the same people. Oh, <laughs> Nothing sweet. Except I'm a little fatter and balder, and she had a little belly. And <laughs> We're all aging. Yeah. So. Which is a good thing. Um, so this song's called It's Up To You, and it, it in, when, you, when you hear it, you'll hear that it, 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 I was so young when I wrote it. It says, let's go walking tonight. We didn't have cars. It was right. so young. I was 14 or 15 when I wrote this song. And Aww. it turns out that this is my favorite song on this oh, nice. on this album. Okay. Yeah. And it's you know it's been in my life. This song has been in my life since 1974. And this year, I finally got it recorded. And it's just like, wow. And I'm, if if I had this song recorded it in '74, it would have been a hit on the radio because when you hear it you, you'll say oh yeah that's a song right in 1974 it could still be a hit now <laughs> gonna let you know here it is it's up to you I'm in a good mood baby let's go walking tonight
Hey, Scott. Scott McCloud, do you hear your driving bass on that song? <laughs> ah, Scott. Good old Scott. No kidding, right? That's... You, you know the, the Backwards Brent CD? He played on every, every song. Right. Yeah. Well, you guys have been friends for a long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah he was the uh, announcer on... Um, Oh, on, Brent, on Brent and Wolfie Radio, he was the announcer, and he was the voice of Rock and Roddy Rabbit. Yes, he was. Yeah, he introduced the show every, uh, and... every week, and he did a lot of gigs with me. Yeah, Brent and Wolfie. I was gonna say that. How many Christmas shows did you? That Scott was right there. Yeah. Ben was right there. Like, that's what is so wonderful about the musical community. You need a hand. They're yeah. usually right there. Yeah, and it was all for a good cause. Nobody got paid for those shows. And all the no. all the donations went to the uh, hungry folks. Yep. So. Yeah. So. Good thing to be able to give back. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, we love doing those shows. It's great. So, so, anyways, that's my teenage romance song. Well, and everybody had one of those, yeah. right? And um, when I put this album together, there was about 15 songs on it. And we went, no, no, that's too much. Ten. Ten is a good number. Ten is a good number. Ten is a good number. So each, yeah, so each are going to have ten. So the next song, So Darling, I was playing in a duo with Jackie Pearson, which is my brother's first wife's sister. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. we, were, we were doing the Legion tour 2000. I don't know when it was. Anyways, I wrote this. What does that say? 1987? Is that right? Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, 1987. Yeah. Um, they wanted waltz music. And three quarter time, boom, chuck, chuck, boom, chuck, chuck. I said, I don't know many. Okay, or I'll just go ahead and write one. So this <laughs> song is a, it's called So Darling, I Want to Thank You for Being My Wife. So it's a song to a man's wife for uh, on their anniversary. Uh, and I didn't write it about my wife at the time. I just wrote the song because we needed a three-quarter time song to play in the Legions. And the funny part about it is when we started re- performing it, they were, you know, they were looking at me going, you didn't write that. Come on. You didn't write that song. Said, yeah, I did write that song. <laughs> But it, it like the other one we we're talking about, um, that without you that got to be well known and requested a lot. This is the same one. These people wanted that song every time we played. They wanted to hear that song. Well, see, that is a hit. Yeah, that is a hit. Yeah. So again, it wasn't written about anybody. It was written because we needed a three-quarter time song. Now, what I should have done was said, I wrote the song about my wife because I loved her so much. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> no, what you should have said is, I wrote this song because I've watched, been watching couples for years yeah. and performing so much for go. all of you. You're too honest. So. <laughs> but anyways. Um, You're known to, yes. I, I was tr- going to go out and sing this song to guys' wives through them, like from them. Yeah. And they said, no, we don't want you singing that song to my wife. No. <laughs> said, so. No. <laughs> I could see that having a yeah. Yeah, but if yeah, if you listen to the words again, it's the same thing. Thank you for being my wife. It's a pretty cool. Song. So a lovely anniversary song. Yeah. Hint, hint, guys. Yeah. Brent Beeler music. Find him. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. So darling. So darling. Thank you for being my wife.
Okay, so that's the end of volume one. Yes. Volume two will be out next year. So what? So that's what you're going to be doing for a year. But what else? What are you doing now? You've been on the road oh, for a year. Um, something cool has come up. Um, you know my Christmas song. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas everywhere. I sent that to a guy in Newfoundland who did all the music. So I played nothing on it. So it doesn't sound like me. He matched the song very well, but it's all really good. And then I'm going to sing on it, and then we're going to try and get it um, into radio. Nice, and nice. stuff like that cool and I, what i'm really looking for is some up-and-comer who's the big star to sing that song because it'll it'll catch on and um and you have a birthday um when i went and you have a birthday i have a birthday yes i'll be 64 when you turn 64 it's law in canada you have to sing when i'm 64 but i like the parody part you gotta parody it to make it your success. yeah yeah so um there is a video on backwards brent YouTube of me singing when I'm 64. Go check that out. It's quite uh, cool. Check it out. Hey, thanks, Pam. My pleasure. Here is from Backroads Brent's Adventures of Backroads Brent that's, Driving. That's you're going to be doing some more of that. Yeah, yeah, and I'll see you next year. Eh? Well, maybe in between. Oh, maybe Christmas. <laughs> Chasing the sun, looking for fun, trying to find my place. 